Hello and welcome to today's EMBN show in what's already been a super busy week in the e-mountain bike world with the launch of Giant's all new Trans Elite bike, one of the lightest full power e-mountain bikes in the world at 18.8 kilos. Later on today's show, I've caught up with Dave Ward from Giant to take a, a more detailed look at that well, breakthrough new bike. Uh, but first of all, some equally interesting news. Yes, uh, first bit of news this week, folks, is, and I'm, and I'm kicking myself for this, is the new classified, or rather not new classified power shift hub. This is a two-speed rear hub, which uh, was actually introduced to me by former World Masters downhill champion, Petra Wiltshire, who was out in Dubai a few weeks ago. Now, I think this really does have a place in the e-mountain bike world. It's a two-speed rear hub, like I mentioned. And uh, it's not, it doesn't mean to say it's a two-geared rear hub, it means you can change the ratio of your cassette. Now, we've already, already talked about the possibility of having two-speed motors on e-mountain bikes, but I think this is definitely a step in the right direction uh, for a number of reasons. I think the first of those is the fact that e-mountain bikes, when you're tackling technical climbs, the possibility for cross-shifting or cross-chaining, should I say, on a, on a, on a bike is, is ever-present. I think this actually gives you the added potential of, of going from a high gear to a low gear in a split second. Now, the great thing about this is that classified sets say that the the um, the power shift drivetrain. Now remember, this is only available on um, road and gravel bikes at the moment. But if, if you have a look at their classified website, it says that a mountain bike version of this is coming very soon. So hopefully, guys, hopefully very soon. Um, I don't, I'm not in touch with them, by the way. I just just found this. So um, yes, first of all shifts under load shifts up to a thousand watts uh in in a split second actually in i think it was 0.1 of a second or 150 milliseconds to get it right as i mentioned it avoids cross chaining and um then there's the whole business of having more gears now i don't actually think that we need more gears on e-mountain bikes please please get involved in the comments let us know what you think i think the potential here for having a eight speed drivetrain on the back, which you can then convert to say, six, have 16 gears is great. But I think with that, you know, you can have, you can have a, um, a smaller cassette, a more durable cassette, a bigger chain. I think there's, there's definitely room for, for a, you know, for a more durable drivetrains in the future. As I mentioned, we have already got the Shimano Link Glide. Um, then 150 milliseconds to, to go from a high gear to a low gear. Uh, it's waterproof. It's lighter than an electronic group set, say classified. And this is really important. There's a 99.7% efficiency in the one to one ratio. Now, there's actually three parts of the system. The first part is obviously the power shift hub. Um, you've also got the axle, but the key thing is you've got a shift button which is located up on your handlebar. So that transmits wirelessly to the axle and through to the hub. So um, I think uh, massive potential here. I think you, you got the option of having 11, 12 or 13 speed cassettes from classified. Uh, price around, around about $1,000 or did I think I saw it was 749 pounds UK. Um, but yeah, folks, I think uh, I'm definitely going to be trying to get in touch with Classified to have a go on this because I think there's massive potential for e-mountain bikes. Uh, that's not all in the shifting world this week. SRAM have just launched the new Eagle transmission. Remember, Eagle has been around for many years, but this is an all new system. They've worked tirelessly to get a redesign of the derailleur and the cassette. Now, SRAM say, um, wireless transmission that changes how we ride. It simplifies, strengthens and extends the life spans uh, to new limits. Also, they say it uses no derailleur hanger or adjustment screws and lets you shift flawlessly under maximum power. Now, for me, I think there's two takeaways from that which are important for me. I think no adjustment screws, that's great. Not that I've ever used any adjustment screws. And the second one is that it, it shifts flawlessly under maximum power. Now, as I mentioned with the uh, classified power shift drivetrain, I think to be able to 
to shift with the increased torque and watts that you get on an e-bike is is very important. I'm going to come on to the to the e mountain bike compatibility of the new drivetrain in a minute, but uh, I think that is definitely a step in the right direction. Uh, so yeah, so what is it? Well, it's a redesigned derail and cassette, uh, mounted on the rear wheel axle, no derail hanger, hangless, and it grips to both sides of the frame. So this is a complete redesign. Now, it comes with the pod controller. You've got the crank sets uh, in various shapes and forms, but I think for us as e-mountain bikers, the big news is it comes in as XX or XO Eagle axis group set for Bosch and Bros. £1,800 puts it, you know, not inexpensive, but definitely a little bit less expensive than the top end mountain bike versions were £2,355, I think. They do do a chain ring for Shimano, but they don't mention the S words. But remember, I guess you, for you guys, Shimano also do the e-bike specific uh, link glide, which comes in a cassette, derailleur and chain. I think the cassette is £120 and the derailleur is £100. And also you've got the DI, shift, DI2 auto shift and free shift technology there as well. So um, I think e-mountain bikers, this is, this is great news. Um, and also, actually, one more piece of, of uh, news this week. Cane Creek, of course, they've just launched the new uh, Electric Wings EMTV cranks. Now, these have made of titanium, so they've got all the, the weight savings of, uh, of carbon and the durability of aluminium. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely think that uh, cranks get added abuse on an e-mountain bike with technical climbs and descents and of course you know with the more riding that we do on our bike so i think this is this is good news i do love titanium i love the feel of it uh, these electric wings are available for bosch yamaha bros for zero tq Bafang specialized motors so that ensures great ensures great compat compatibility uh, across e-mountain bike models uh, like i said 3d printed titanium uh, not cheap, $1,299, and they're gonna be available from mid-March in 165 mil, so say the guys at Cane Creek. Okay, guys, uh, let's turn our attention back to that new uh, giant Trans Elite bike, which was launched yesterday. 18.8 .8 kilos, 400 watt hour battery, 150, 140, 29 inch wheels, um, super slimline frame, and of course, the potential for e-mounted bikers to have two bikes in one. So this is what uh, me and Dave chatted about earlier in the week. Dave, thanks for joining us. Uh, super exciting news, I think, in the e-mounted bike world with the launch of the new Giant uh, Trans Advanced Elite. Uh, as Giant say, the, the lightest full power e-mounted bike in the world. But, uh, Pretty big statement, right? Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. It's, it's it's been a long time coming. We we've, we've known about it for quite a long time, so we're uh, you know we're we're really keen to start talking about it. Yeah, that, I find it very difficult talking to uh, to you guys who, who've obviously you know when you guys are already working on the new thing. Just talk this this for you, I guess, is old news. But yeah, like I said, for the e mountain bike world, it is it is new news and big news. I think so. Um, let's talk about, I think, possibly um, the main part about the bike. You know, not only is it, you know, 18.8 .8 kilos, um, super lightweight, 140, 150 travel, but that whole possibility for, a, for an e-mounted biker to have, to have two bikes in one or possibly more than two bikes in one, right? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So, so this is our entry into the lighter weight e-trail bike market, but we wanted to do it with with a bit of a twist and something we hear from a lot of our dealers and consumers and you know when we're out at demos is that the light the lightweight bikes that are on the market are great but because they have a comparatively lower fixed amount of travel they're great if you're riding on your own but if you're trying to ride with mates or a group that have got a full fat bike you get, you're going to struggle so so we wanted to take a slightly different approach to it and so what we've done is we're using a full power motor we're using our maximum uh output uh, sync drive pro 2 motor which will give up to 85 newton meters of torque but the beauty of this is the rider can choose how much torque that they want in each of the different assistance levels and that will go down as low as 20 newton meters 
wow. all the way up to 85. Yeah, it's massive, massive. So it's bringing it down lower than lower than anybody's anywhere has been before. Um, but it's it's that adjustability, and there's other parameters you can adjust as well, which you know you can really really personalise this bike to to be exactly what you need it to be. I suppose uh, I suppose there's there's an element that the that the rider could actually you know find the settings or, or not settings or find the kind of power torque levels peak power from other other motor brands and sort of I'm, I'm guessing you could have presets to, to emulate that could you yeah I mean there's um, out of the box we set the five well the, the bike has five ride modes just like all of our e-bikes have five ride modes and the per, you can personalize them anyway or you can run them as stock um, but you can very easily go into the ride control app and on each of the different modes you can now pick the assistance level from as low as 50 percent all the way up to 400 percent the torque setting as i said from as low as 20 all the way up to 85 newton meters and then you can also uh, adjust what we're calling launch control which is kind of like throttle response on a car which basically controls how quickly that torque comes in so, because uh, on that motor stat, it comes in really quick. It comes in like 0.19 of a second. It's really, really quick, <laughs> which is great, but it doesn't suit every terrain, doesn't suit everybody's riding style. So you've now got seven different levels and you can, you can, you can delay that up to by up to half a second. So you've, you've really got a hell of a lot of adjustments that you can make. And the big thing is, like I said, you can adjust all of these parameters in each of the five different modes. So, so as you're riding around, you can flick through the five modes and you can effectively have five different personalities, five different, five different um, setups of bike. I, I guess uh, one question maybe some people might be asking is um, you've got a 400 watt hour battery there and yep. uh, an 85, a potentially an 85 newton meter motor. I guess there is an element that the rider does need to acknowledge that you know the range will be less in, in the full power mode, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I've, I've, absolutely. Yeah. So it's as standard, it's a 400 watt hour battery. And it's also the only 400 watt hour battery in the in the bike trade, which you can get 85 newton meters out of. Um, so, which is which is quite a, quite a, a big thing. So, it's a it's a brand new battery cell that Panasonic have developed exclusively exclusively for us. It's got a very catchy name of the 22700 cell. Um, so, and that's that's unique to us. And like I say, it's the only 400 battery out there which you can pull, which which will actually power a motor to 85 newton meters. So yeah, you've got you've got that comparatively smaller main battery in the down tube. Uh, in the next couple of months or so, you'll be able to add a 200 watt hour range extender right. uh, in a in a bottle type uh, cage onto the onto the down tube. I, and, I didn't I didn't know that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So you so you yeah. so you'll have up to 600, and the and the um, bottle cage uh, range extender uses exactly the same cell technology as the, as the as the main battery. And those new cells are good for up to 2,300 charging cycles. Right, so, okay. which is which is big, big, big numbers. But on a single charge, yeah, you got up to 600 watt hours uh, with the with the range extender. Um, playing with the assistance level from you know 50 to 400, and playing with the torque level, and also playing with that throttle response in the launch control. Each of those will independently and combined have an effect on the range. So if you, if you know you've got a really big day out, you know, come down on the assistance levels, come down on the torque, come down on the throttle response, that will give you massive, massive range figures. And the the um, the, the app will tell you live what that range is gonna be. Or if you've got a mad couple of hours after work and you just wanna rinse it, just crank everything up to 11. I think maybe for for the uh, for the guys watching, they might be thinking there's there's a lot of giant news at the moment. Obviously, we had the yeah. you know we had the Trans Advanced Limited a few weeks ago, only five five hundred or five hundred and seven made. Five hundred and seven. Yeah, we had you guys had the new uh, the new Stance bike, which I want to yeah. talk about a little bit as well, and of course the new you know this new Elite is. There's a lot going on with Giant at the minute, Dave. Well, it's actually bigger than that as well because Giant oh, Sister Brand, well, Giant Sister Brand Live also has the Embolden, which is the sister bike to the uh, to the Stance, and at the same time as we're launching the new Trans Elite, um, the the bike that we've been talking about, Live's also launching its its own version, which is the Intrigue, sharing all of the same technology. Yeah. So I just want to like, you know, sometimes the viewers talk about, you know, some of these bikes being um, sort of super expensive. The stance bikes are really 
competitively priced, aren't they? Have you, have you, got, have you got the price? Can you give us a rough idea of the prices in, in the UK at least? Yeah, like? you, UK prices on the stand start at 3499. Uh, and on this new elite bike, uh, they're starting at 5499. So you can get so right okay so the, you can get the elite with a four, with with the same motor and battery yes yeah wow. crikey so, I guess so the so the, the bike the bike you've ridden um is carbon carbon uh front triangle carbon swing arm um so the the bike at five and a half grand is exactly the same front triangle exactly the same motor switch gear uh battery the only physical difference really is it's an aluminium swing arm as opposed to a carbon swing arm. So, but everything from a tech point of view and a geometry point of view and the geometry adjustment, it's all exactly the same. I can imagine you selling a few of those, Dave. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, know that's, I mean, that's good money for a bike, which I'm guessing what's it going to be like, maybe a kilo and a half, two kilos heavier? Not, not much really, right? Uh, not, not had it on the scales yet, but what we, the figure we're quoting is that the the elites are four kilos lighter than the than the full fat trans spec for spec equivalent would be. One last thing I'd like to add as well is all of these adjustments that you can make through the app on, on the elite. So the assistance level adjustment, the torque adjustment, and also that launch control. That adjustment can also be done onto any existing bike and any future bike that has the Sync Drive Pro 2 motor on it. So which includes that limited bike that, it, um, that you've already ridden. So right. into that bike, even though it's full fat, you know, it's eight, 800 Newton meter battery, it's um, 85 Newton meters straight out of the box. Even with that bike, you could go into the app and make the adjustments as well. So if you wanted to, you know, increase the range by dropping the assistance level, dropping the torque, if you didn't like how quickly the torque comes in, then you can then you compare that back as well. So that's all available to everybody that's got that Pro 2 motor on, on, on the bike already. Yeah, I think I think that is that is massive news for people because you know a lot of people complain that the things are not backwards compatible and all that. But um, yeah. wow! So, so you're telling me that the elite could go down to sorry, not the elite, the the limited could go down to 20 newton meters and 800 watt hour battery. Yes, uh, right. and 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 down to 50 percent assistance. Wow! Can you imagine so the range? Can you imagine the range on that? That's a big week out. So you, you could even do it on the rain that you rode a couple of years ago. Yeah, I don't want to go back into that. Those are painful days at uh, Enduro, World, <laughs> Enduro World Series stage, although I'm probably going to go back to that. Uh, Dave, thanks so much for joining us. I think, no uh, yeah, super important bike, I think, the new the new Elite, you know, as well as as well as well the stance bike too, at, at the lower price point. So thanks for joining us. Can't wait to uh, get out on the trails. Yeah, enjoy it. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Thanks to Dave for that. Uh, remember, folks, uh, as, as we talked about there, there's also the new Stance bike, which comes in uh, the entry level price at £3,400. So something for everybody. Uh, something which is not for everybody uh, is a gentleman that goes by the name of Tony Boo or Tony Boo. Now, Tony Boo is possibly one of the world's greatest two wheel bike riders. He's multi times world trials champion. And over the past few years, we've been following Tony Boo and his exploits on e-mountain bikes. Now he's now on a Levo SL, and I think he would put up a good battle against the likes of Jack Carthy and Chris Eichrig on an e-bike, as well as, you know, Fabio Wibmer, Danny McCaskill, you name them, they're all lining up to get a bit of the action of the e-mountain bike world. So I think what Tony can do on an e-mountain bike is absolutely sensational. Okay, folks, uh, springtime's coming. Time to get yourselves over to the EMBN shop. It's a great way of supporting the channel. There's a variety of colors and technical t-shirts there in the shop. So get yourself over there. Over there. I've got a, a long sleeve top because I think it's about 11 degrees in the house today. Time now to turn our attention to see what you guys have been up to in the past few weeks and uh, Kicking things off is this beautiful location sent in by Boyd up in Loch, the, the Loch Weichloop in the Scottish Highlands. Now, uh, I chose this partly because it's a beautiful location, also the fact that coming up on the channel um, in the next few weeks, we've got a video which shows the Trek Fuel analog bike versus the Trek Fuel EXE and also the Trek Rail in comparison obviously it's very difficult times for people who want to choose the right bike so i want to give you guys an insight into the, the 
you know, I know it's apples for oranges, but some of the fine detail which you can see between all those bikes. Uh, and then we've also got this beautiful shot in from Paul. Now Paul is in the Bracken Beacons. I do actually vaguely recognize this, but I think this kind of typifies why we have cool places um, for you guys to see. I think great, great ideas to get out and about. So please keep those uh, submissions coming in in the uploaded down below. Okay guys, and finally it's bike fault time. Uh, we're looking at the uh, nice or super nice. Uh, first of all is a submission by Ben. And I mean, what about this? I mean, what a collection of bikes. You got the High Bike Special Edition, you got the Forestal, and of course you got the Uno, Uno Booze bike there from Barcelona, a fantastic uh, garage or house full of bikes that can only be a super nice. Uh, next up is Gary and his uh, Cube Stereo 160 HPC in Robra. That's a nice shot. Uh, and this one here, look at this. This is Scott and his new proof megawatt in Tirpentus in South Wales. Uh, I know the place very well. Obviously, there's some great trails on the opposite side of the valley there too. You've got the Seven Estuary in the background there. That has got to be a super nice shot. Uh, another Welsh submission here, Stephen is all bear wild in Llandegla, that looks pretty cool, a nice shot. Uh, and this one, um, this is Word, uh, Marin Alpine Trail E1 in Oakland, California, with a mudguard on the back. Do you actually need a mudguard in Oakland? That is a super nice shot, it's a super nice colour too, I really like that red. Um, next up is an all bear rise M team from Rui out in the Algarve at the Bravura Dam. Now it's nice to see some uh, shots coming in from you guys with a bit of sun there. I think that's a super nice shot. And then finally, uh, this is Robert who's just finished upgrading his Specialized to Fox Suspension Front and Rear. Um, that's in Kumkan. And that is a super nice to finish this week's EMBN show. Guys, guys, thanks so much for joining us. Let us know your thoughts about that two-speed rear hub from Classified, the PowerShift drive train. I think it's I think it's I think it's big news myself. Remember, only available on road and gravel at the moment, but I'm sure there will be an MTB version of that coming very soon. And also what your thoughts are on the new Giant Trance Elite bike. Remember, there's the stance as well. And also I think what as Dave pointed out. You've got the new Elite bike with the same motor and same battery as the bike, which is twice the price. So interesting times for uh, e-manta bike riders worldwide. Like I said, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.